Do you see that? We got a setup. <laughs> Let me tell you a story about bad ideas. The year is 2002. The first Sam Raimi Spider-Man movie starring Tobey Maguire came out. Lilo and Stitch came out. I was born. International singer and superstar legend Michael Jackson dangles a fucking baby over a balcony. What the fuck? However, this does not compare to anything we we're going to talk about today. Now, let me drive you down memory lane and take you down to a little restaurant called Hooters. Hooters is an American restaurant chain that is best known for its beer, wings, big sexy booby women, but big honking bazongers. <laughs> now, to cut to the chase, Hooters' business model is one of let's hire sexy booby women. Is that it? Now why am I talking to you about this very horny restaurant? Well, if you read the title of the video, you would know that Hooters dipped their talons into the gaming industry. I worked really hard on that pun, can you please laugh? <laughs> they created one of the most critically panned games ever made. So I propose we do one thing. Let's go on a Hooters road trip. All right, hey, so I recorded pretty much all this video and then my mic had a lot of issues. Uh, it sounded like an alien. You know, I don't hate myself that much to force myself to play the fucking Hooters game. So I'm re-recording pretty much the entire video and I'm purposely wearing a different shirt and adjusted a little bit of the background so I can annoy anyone who cares. On March 25th, 2002, a day that will forever be remembered as Hooters Day, the game Hooters Road Trip came out for the PC and the original PlayStation. No, not the PlayStation 2 that came out two years earlier. Now let's start playing. Now when you boot up this game, you get to see all the people who are to blame for this monstrosity. Hooters Road Trip starts off with the coolest title screen that was definitely not thrown together in an afternoon with B-roll. There are totally not bloopers from the three shots they filmed for this game. She, she's fucking laughing. She's laughing it up like, <laughs> my career. <laughs> we get to see Hooters tagline, tacky yet unrefined. Do they know those are like the same synonym? All right, now that the banger of an intro is done and I've changed my pants, it's time to pick which six options we want to do. However, the only things that we really care about is drive and map. But if we click on the map, we could see general locations like Jacksonville, Atlanta, the body of Christ. All right, now that we've gotten our daily prayer in, let's start driving. Now there's three cars to choose from. I'm going to go with Kenya, cause hell yeah. Oh, that's nice. There's no loading screen. Uh, so it's been 30 minutes and I figured out how to go backwards. That's all I figured out how to do. I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. Okay, after booting up this game four different times and realizing I've just wasted 30 minutes of my precious life, I finally adjusted my controls and figured out there's a control menu that's hidden. What the fuck? Oh boy, I am ready to drive. And oh my God, this is slow. Oh my God, let's go. Like, this is so slow that even the tortoise from the tortoise and the hare could fucking pass me by just walking. It's a little bit of children humor for all the children watching. <laughs> Get out of here, there's boobs. So this might be an error on my end, but this game is so bad I would not put it past them. Okay, yeah, I think it's on my end because the time signature of this song is uh, so complicated for a fucking Hooters game. Is this time signature? It's like dun, 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 add the music and post. <laughs> All right, now that I've gotten everything fixed, it's finally time to review the gameplay. It's not good. You start off in a nondescript area that does not look anything like a start lane. Then you proceed to drive forward on this convoluted racetrack that, oh, by the way, is an active freeway. Now there's a few gear types. You could switch between them. There's reverse, neutral, one. Two, three, four, and five. Because neutral was more important in a racing game than the fucking driving gear shift. All right, so we have test drive, license car, practice, road trip, or custom road trip. Because this game is so shit. All right, so we start in fifth. You know, in a racing game, you'd either have like four or eight people. Hooters was like, fuck that. We're going to have six. You know what would make this game so much sicker? If there was an explosion when you hit someone. Oh, by the way, this game is fucking impossible to control. Like I said, this is an active freeway we're racing on. So you can run into the other cars on the other side of the road. Who would drag race to go to Hooters? All right, we've reached the end of the road. What's going to happen? I did it. Place stamp here. Did, they didn't even finish the fucking game. I fucking hate. So you get a letter that's written in the Phasmophobia font. So whenever you get to the end of a race, uh, place five seconds of FMV footage of a Hooters girl basically being held at gunpoint to say the line they were given. All right, whore, you're gonna greet me to 
Jacksonville. Otherwise, you're gonna get the fucking drop. So this one actually had um the most charisma out of all of them. And I know what you're thinking. There was like that was like nothing. Why why are you saying that was charisma? Well, compared to the other one, she's like on fucking ecstasy. All right, it's time to go to Georgia. All right, I'm driving this. Oh my god! All right, now that I've just ran full speed into someone, I'm going very slow, which makes sense. I should be dead, or at least in the hospital. Why can't I fucking drive? At least I have this banger tune. It sounds like Kids Bop Rage Against the Machine. Man, I'm having so much fun not being drunk while driving. What the fuck was I put? Was I a pinball? Okay, there's nothing loaded. Oh my god, the city's here. All right. Oh, finally, there's the finish line, but I'm at six uh, because I finished at fucking five minutes. Oh, no, it took almost five minutes. I did not qualify. Fuck! After replaying this horrid racetrack and not causing major systemic injuries to myself and others, I finally beat it and did well enough to qualify. However, I took too long in the music. Oh Stopped with no sign of coming back. That's cool. Anyways, I'm finally in Georgia. Let's go. Hi, y'all. Welcome to Georgia. How are you doing, sugar? All right, let's break this down. So I'd like to point your attention to the monitor, kids. Hi, y'all. Welcome to Georgia. Hi, y'all. Welcome to Georgia. Her shirt says fucking Phoenix, Arizona! I'd also like to point out that this girl is Holly Madison. Holly Madison, former The Girls Next Door actor. Hey, baby. Hey, I'm Holly. And former Hugh Hefner girlfriend, former Playboy model, and former actor for the best known game America's ever seen, Hooters Road Trip! Da, 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 da. After Hef's and my first date, I moved in two days later. I guess you could say we're made for each other. It was a miserable part of my life. How did I not qualify? I got, I got third place. I had to get above fifth. How did I not qualify? I'd also like to point out how the little postcard I got, uh, the text goes over the little rat. Bridget is one of my best friends ever, and my favorite thing about her is she gets super excited, and it's just fun to have people like that around. I played this game for at least an hour and a half, and it is genuinely one of the worst games I've ever played. It is awful. It is... It is awful. I don't know what else to talk about the gameplay because that's literally it. You race on a horrible racetrack with horrible controls, and when you get to the end, you get Hooter Girl uh, going, Hi, y'all. Welcome to this place. You did it. And then at the end of your road trip, if you did well, you get these hot booby women on the beach and they go, you play second. J just fuck it. Just roll the clip, Tony. Hi, I'm a Hooters. Hooters road trip. Woo! You came in second place. Of course they name a fucking truck Plow 200 in a Hooters game, god damn it. And this person is so painfully addicted to titty and subpar food that they have to drive to another fucking state to get their fix. So you can get a new car via the license car tab. Uh, let's go try it. All right, three, two, oh, one, here we go. What am I doing? Okay, I'm speeding up, let's go. Oh my god, oh my god. Holy oh my god. shit, the fucking oh gears. So these, these, cho these cones clearly defy gravity. Oh <laughs> if you just tap them, they go Wee! So in summary, this game is cringe cronge applesange, and I would give it two out of 10 stars. I give it two because the booby lady cool. So that was a very interesting thing, right? This game broke me. After I finished playing for the night, I started tweeting rapidly. I messaged friends, people I haven't talked to in years, people who didn't even exist anymore. I texted my sister over and over again. In fact, I had to write my daily affirmations to make sure I wasn't delusional. I am not going to drive 56 miles just to get Hooters for a video. I am not going to drive 56 miles just to get Hooters for a video. I am not going to drive 56 miles. So after I was done crying in the bathtub at 3 a.m., I wondered who was responsible for this? What? Ah! Hooters Road Trip was created by the game company Hoplite Research, a game company that has been honored, respected, and feared for years. <clears throat> I'm, ki I'm fucking kidding, of course. They're dead in the water. They're pretty much dead right now, but they still work on games. Um, let's check out let's check out their awesome website. Here we go. Now that is an epic website. So we got the bridge, and we got we got toothpicks. 
Hell yeah. So why don't we check their products or anything? Why don't we go do that? And, um, the, these look all fucking boring. Oh, Mozart Requiem, PS4, Switch, Xbox, PC, Android, iOS coming soon. Let's let's take a look at the Mozart trailer. Why don't we? Oh my. Oh my. Oh. Nice. Door to the cell. Oh no! <laughs> he run Why does it zoom? <laughs> I thought at first that these people were normal size and Mozart was just fucking tiny. <laughs> this is six foot, five foot eleven. <laughs> Look at him, he running, dude. He running. Oh, me and the boys going to get beans at 4 a.m. Mozart, how nice to see you. I thought you were dead or about to be. Hold on, my bohemian. <laughs> this is the greatest game ever. Hold on, my bohemian tells me you musician friend tried to bribe him in order to set him free. <laughs> there they go. <laughs> okay, boys, I brought you out here to accuse you of bribery. My bohemian tells me that you musician friend have been bribing people. What's that about? Okay, see, I'm gonna bounce back. So that's that's a that's a great game. All right, now that we're done with Mozart Requiem, let's check their next game, Snarf Quest Tales, for the PS4, Xbox, Switch, Android, iOS coming soon. What's this game about? Oh boy, I can't wait to find out with a name as Snarf Quest. You are Snarf, boldly and not so boldly going where no Snarf has gone before. You utilize your cunning and opportunistic nature to seek, faint. I don't think there's supposed to be a comma there. You utilize your cunning and opportunistic nature to seek fame, fortune, and adventure. <laughs> After all, why fight a dragon when you can just trick it and get the gold? Now, I would go on for longer, but that's the entire description, so I can't. Let's check Snarf Quest. I can only click on Quad. <laughs> all right, well, I can't click on Snarf Quest. Is there anything else I can click on? Books and rules. Oh, man. There's forums. Last post, January 8th. Who the fuck is posting? It seems he's now just a rules maker, which is, you know what? That's fair. Do whatever makes you happy. As long as it doesn't hurt anyone. Someone's here with food. Now that I feel bad, let's look up Snarf Quest. Is this not made by the Hoplite Research? What? Wait, hold on, what? So, is this even his game? Who are, who we are? Neither of these are, why? Why does he have this game here if he if he's not part of it? What? I'm uncovering a conspiracy as I film. Let's go to the image I found. Snarf Quest Tales. Let's meet our hero, Snarf. Meet Snarf, our hero. He's a Zitfa, a race of short people with large noses and even larger thirst for adventure. Snarf is the oldest son of Parf and Bertha. I hate this. And he's determined that he'll be the next king of his people. Dream big! I walk like a duck and I talk like a duck, so I must be a duck. No, I'm pretty sure you're a dragon. Say, you're right, I am a dragon. I told you so. And dragons don't eat breadcrumbs, they eat snarfs! Shit, I like my snarfs extra crispy. <laughs> Why don't we see what else they're responsible for? So Extreme Paintball 2, they're responsible for these get Look at that. That looks kind of fun. I did not know attack. Oh my god. And then we have Jet Tailfin Racers, which looks sick. Street Kicks Freestyle. Oh my god. Okay, kids, this is this is what prison looks like. <laughs> How do I back? <laughs> so as I was filming, I found a website that delved into the backstory of Hoplite Research a little bit, and I found out this little ditty. And then, most notably, 2002's Hooter Road Trip. Um... A planned sequel, Hooters Road Trip Overdrive for the Xbox, never came to pass, and not much more was heard of Hoplite Research. Well, I'm here to bring them back from the dead. Hey. You gotta get down to Hooters. Well, what did we learn today? We learned that restaurant companies should not make video games. That's it. I mean, can you imagine if like other restaurants did like the whole making video games about stuff they're not related to thing? Oh my God, I can't wait for McDonald's fun dental surgery. It's gonna be so hype. Dude, Arby's released Arby's fun vacuum frenzy. I can't wait to play. Guys, Pizza Hut just tweeted that anyone who fucks around and tries to out Pizza the Hut is gonna get murdered. Now, this is the outro of the video. I originally was gonna order Hooters, but as you saw in my daily affirmations, the closest one is about 56 miles away because every Hooters near me went out of business because those damn millennials don't love booby anymore. They've all emigrated to Femboy Hooters. Well, that's the end of the video. If you like this video, make sure to subscribe and politely press the like button because it's been smashed too many times. Thanks for watching. I hope you have a great day. Bye.